going on guys? It's Lucy Goosey or Kyle and welcome to episode 5 of my Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'm recording these all in one session so if you guys are leaving feedback in the comments I'm sorry that I haven't read them yet. I think I'm going to stop after this one. I'm just having so much fun with recording this but anyways if you haven't seen any of the previous ones or just the previous one or whatever make sure you go check them out right now because spoilers are going to happen and they're not going to be very fun to get things spoiled for you. But anyways guys welcome back to another episode. Last episode we had some fun. We actually got some Pokemon. We got some new guys with us right here. And one of them is Blueberry, our Bulbasaur, Brave Nature. And he's rocking Tackle, Growl, and Leech Seed. Obviously, I'm not choosing these moves. It's just the ones that they're leveling up with. So, obviously, not the greatest thing in the world. We have our starter Pokemon, Andy. Still alive with the Impish Nature. Um, Tackle, Growl, Razor, Leaf, Reflect. Nothing's changed there. Zeus, our pretty amazing Nidoran. Um, he's... Definitely clutch them things out for us. And we have our new Natsu named Fox after the Phoenix and Harry Potter um, with Peck and Lear. Only at level 4 though, so we need to change something about that before we get into the gym battle. I was actually just talking to Zachary. I'm kind of scared for the gym because I don't know what type of Pokemon are going to be there. In the regular game, I'm pretty sure it's a rock type gym, but it's not going to be that way in this game. So we're going to lead up with this um, double battle right here. With our Bulbasaur and our Andes. So hopefully... Oh, it's not a, is it a double battle? I think it is. Um, so hopefully we can not have fire Pokemon get sent out. Okay, great. They're grass Pokemon. I'm grass Pokemon. Um, so we might have to do some switching out right here. Um, I think we're going to be okay to stay in. So I'm actually just going to double in. Oh, I didn't get to double in. I wanted to double... Oh, I did double into it. Um, so Bellsprout is going to die. Silcoon's not a big deal. Um, but I am going... I think I'm going to Leech Seed it. How do I Leech Seed the Silcoon? There we go. And I'll tackle the Bellsprout. So get the kill on the Bellsprout right there. Um, but Blueberry's going to level up once, which is nice. And we get the Leech Seed out on this thing. Just so we know that we have, basically, it's not going to just keep partying it up. And live a bunch of turns and now it's on a timer. So that's kind of cool. Um, so let's see how much Razor Leaf is going to do. It's going to do a lot and it's not very effective, but he's hardening up, which is raising his defense and i'm pretty sure razor leaf is special attack i haven't really looked it up yet so i don't really know but it's gonna die to leech seed right here and we kill this double battle with relative ease so that's pretty nice and we should get oh we didn't get that much money from it but i think that might be the last battle we can battle this guy this fisherman right here but we are at rustboro which is kind of nice i think that's a different route um but we did catch the pokemon on this route i don't know what those are who's this lady berries growing make sure to plant them back oh she gave me a chesto berry i don't know i think that heals you from sleeping so um yeah we're at rust barrel which is pretty nice we can battle this guy right here and i guess i'm going to at least i think you battle him um so we'll see what type of pokemon he has he says he's a water expert see if he has water type pokemon because it hasn't happened so far um he actually has a water type pokemon in starmie um and i don't have any grass moves yet on my Bulbasaur, so we're gonna have to go out into Andes to tank up some hits as well as kill this thing. Oh, it had recover. That's weird. We'll take down the Starmie though, and that's actually really weird because Starmie is a blue Pokemon, but its pre evolution is that exact color. And so I was like, wait a second, is that Staryu? But it's not. Uh, oh, we got a we got a grass move on our um, what's it called? Uh, Bulbasaur. So Togetic is coming in, and I don't know the type of Togetic, but I think we're just gonna actually stay in. Togetic's a good Pokemon, actually. Um, so, I like Togetic, and if we had one, that would be pretty cool. Color scheme's not actually too different from the regular Togetic. I believe that's pretty spot on, so... It's gonna hit us with some mean attacks right here, but... I think we'll be able to take it down. Oh, Metronome. Uh-oh. Focus Energy, okay. If it was, like, Fire Blast, we might have lost our Andes there. So, I don't know what Metronome can choose from, but we are gonna get the kill right there, and Andes is gonna level up. It's gonna learn Poison Powder, but I don't really need Poison Powder. Um, we'll just get rid of Growl, though, because I'm never gonna use it. So, yeah, we'll just take the Poison Powder in case it ever comes in handy. Shup it. Hmm. Shup is just Ghost type. Um, you know what? We'll, we'll just um, stay with what's been working and continue going with our Andes right here, because why not? There we go. We get the kill, and, um... We're, we're done with this trainer, and we can finally head into Rustboro and relax a little bit. There is a Pokemart here, so we can buy some stuff. But I am going to heal up, just so we can get um, our Pokemon up to full. 
and I think I'm gonna actually go on a training montage right here um, because we do have to battle a gym soon I think it, I actually already got my Pokemon but we'll just do it again in case I forgot um, but yes we have a, a, a gym coming up soon and I do want all of my Pokemon to be around level 10 to 15 so I'm gonna do a little bit of a montage right here of me training I'm gonna grab up some potions and uh, should be pretty interesting so uh, let's get that time lapse rolling I kind of cut off that training montage before I got to level um, 10 on all my Pokemon. I believe most of them were already there. Box is sitting at level 7 right now, so it's not at level 10. But I remember there is a route up here, Route 115, and I believe there might be an area. Nope, okay. So there's no area up on Route 15 for us to get an encounter. Thought there might be, but apparently not. And we actually got two Super Potions. I got one during that time lapse. I don't know if you guys saw that. But I did get a super potion, but it looks like, yeah, there's no Pokemon encounter. I know there is one over here, um, so we could go for that. And I'm pretty sure we can just enter the gym right now, but i just kind of scared to do that. Um, the guy from Devon, um, whatever it's called, the Devon Corporation, is up in that building, I believe. Or maybe he's out here. Let's just get an encounter and see how everything goes. Wow, first patch of grass. Encounter. Glyscore, or Glygar, the earlier evolution of Glygor, Glyscore, of Glyscore, um, hopefully a tackle doesn't kill this thing, I don't think it would, okay, yeah, I'm like, please just don't, <laughs> um, so we'll just go for, <sighs> okay, Andy, you really need to, like, chill on the critical hits, I'm getting, like, three critical hits every battle, I don't know, maybe it has, a an ability that, allows it to get critical hits easier um oh poison sting that's not very good that's gonna do some damage get poison dart no okay maybe we should switch out into zeus um but he can learn earthquake probably not this early but i feel like i'm fine taking up the poison stings right now maybe we should go for the great ball yeah let's just do it let's go for the great ball three two three Got it. Okay, so we got the Gligar. It's blue, which is kind of awesome. There he is right there. Scorpion, the Fly Scorpion, and uh, that's a pretty cool name, Gligar, but I think we can come up with something a bit cooler. Let's see. Hmm. There's a Flying Scorpion. I don't really know. Like, the Scorpion from Mortal Kombat is kind of cool, but I don't want to just name him. Oh, you know what? Scorpion and Sub-Zero and this guy's blue I mean it nah it doesn't really match his name um it doesn't really match the Pokemon he's a poison type and a flying type I believe or maybe poison ground but he has levitate so let me take a second and I'll come up with one alrighty guys I'm actually going to name um this Gligar Venus it is a girl and I think Venus is definitely more of a girl's name and also um like the Venus flytrap it's a poisonous plant and I figured 
that would be a kind of a cool name. Um, so I don't actually know. Is we Vlian, are Vlian's five have poisonous? I don't actually know. But I am gonna go to the PC just to heal up. And now we are sitting at five Pokemon, um, which is pretty nice. So that's always good. We are in Rustboro, and I don't know if we're gonna take on the gym in this episode. There are a couple of things I think we need to do before that. Like I said, the Devon whatever guy should be over here. But um, I'm gonna do a couple more bits of training. Maybe we could start up that time lapse again because I do need to train up Fox and now our new addition Venus um, up. So we, I guess we can do that. So um, let's start that time lapse. training is basically done i feel like um they're all good enough to fight the gym and i don't know if there's really anything i do before i fight the gym i know this is devon corp but i don't yeah okay i don't do anything with devon corp before i fight the gym so i could go and fight the gym right now and i but i think we might save that for the next episode because it might take a long time oh we can go to the trainer school i think um maybe there's some things happening at the trainer school um they might just teach us stuff but i thought maybe they're there was a battle that would happen maybe not the teacher want to do anything let's see what does the teacher do students who don't study get a uh, taste of a quick claw blah, blah 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 and it gives me the quick claw so that's actually pretty nice um it helps me go first uh if i give it to one of my pokemon so that's a cool item to have and there's a couple of other things so i guess we'll just explore rustboro for the rest of the episode and see if we can get anything cool um she's talking about the trainer school so not a big deal another house right here we can go check out old guy right here. For my own Pokemon, I can give them perfectly suited nicknames. It's my expression of originality. Yes, that's it. But giving a Pikachu, or but getting the name Pikachu to a Pikachu seems pointless. I guess it's good to understand a name. Easy to understand, but yeah, I would, I would never name Pikachu the same name, just spelled differently. That's for sure. Um, anything else going on in this place? Looks like we got a whole big mansion right here. Way back in the old days, Devon was just a teeny tiny company. My daddy's working at the corporation. My daddy made this, but I can't use it, so you can have it. Ooh, a Premier Ball. Those are kind of cool. Um, you get them from buying like 10 or more Pokeballs at one time, so that's kind of cool. Um, Devon's president likes to collect rare stones. Uh, that's cool. I think the president's son also collects rare stones. Awesome. Um, the president's a cool guy. I think later in the game, he gives us some pretty important items, so that's kind of cool. Grandma do anything? Nope, she just said stuff. Um, what was this? Was this the training school? Nope. Okay, so this guy actually gives us the HM for cut, I'm pretty sure. Let's see, is he gonna give it up? Yep. Okay, so in this game, HMs, you cannot delete the actual move. I know there's not HMs in the newer game, but uh, yeah, you cannot actually delete the move once you teach it to them. So we're gonna need a Pokemon that can learn cut that we don't mind it wasting a move slot. So hopefully we can find something for that. 
There we go. Every Pokemon has a special ability that it can use. Pokemon are such strange creatures. Yeah, that is not true. They are completely normal. Um, what do you say? It's so hard every day. Blah, 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 blah. Are you actually... No, okay. Just talking. Can I please get by you? She's just like, cut me off. Oh, hello. Welcome to the Pepper's household. I have a question. Have you ever babysat? You see, I'm a new father, so raising a child is new to me. And I have a problem. My daughter, Walda, doesn't laugh. I think she'd laugh for me if I told her something funny. Do you know a funny word or phrase you can tell me? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Banana. That is a pretty funny word. I'm gonna say banana. Let's see. Ah, I see. Well, let's give it a try. Banana, banana. Hmm. She's not smiling at all. Maybe Walda is one serious child. I would have smiled if someone just said banana, banana, but apparently not. All right. Are there any more houses that we can check out? There's the Devon Corp. Uh, that looks like it's about it. Let's let's just check up here. Um, we never talked to this person. She doesn't give us anything. I think we already looked around here. Yeah, it just looks like everything is cut off from us actually getting an encounter on this route. So that's not very fun. We were over here, and I know there's a cave over there, but I believe that's after we beat the gym. So I feel like we definitely have checked out all of Rustboro. There is this house right here, actually. One last thing. Oh, my Pokemon is cute. Sure, I knew it was cute. But if you really want, I'm willing to trade it for you. Will you trade my C dots for your Ralt? I cannot do that. I do not have a Ralt. Sorry. Um, yeah, he's probably just gonna talk about trading. I don't really know. Um, but yeah, that's all the houses in Rustboro, and I think that's everything that's important. So that's actually gonna do it for this episode. Next episode, we're gonna take down the gym, and hopefully, we can win. Um, not too sure what typing the Pokemon are gonna be because it is a randomizer. So we're gonna have to find out. But hopefully, you guys did all enjoy this episode of Pokemon Emerald Randomizer Nuzlocke. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out for now. Peace.